<clears throat> Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here, practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. One needs it in order to get ready for the exam. If one is thinking about sitting for the exam, one needs it. There is no, there is no better source than this one. As I, as, I, as I keep repeating myself like a parrot in every clip, don't waste your time and money practicing on the fake exams. <coughs> Number 14 is what I'm going to work at. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 242, as it says here, quantitative comparison number 14. Let's take a look at it. Well, it's a, it's a, I don't want to say, I don't want to say that it's a difficult problem, but it is a bit tricky one because, uh, well, it has to be a little bit tricky because uh, when the exam was given, only 23% of the people who took the exam got this question right. Uh, three quarters of the people, vast majority of the people, got it wrong. Let's take a look at it. And the reason, and the reason why they get it wrong is not because, as I said, it's not because math is complicated. They have trouble with this part right here. Well, as soon as they see this thing, they don't know what to do with the bloody thing. It's just a set of instructions. It just says that whenever I have some number here with a star on top of it, I'm supposed to take 32 and subtract that number from it. That's it. So 5 star equals whatever the hell that is, 23, 25, 27, that's all. For example, let's do another example, a hundred star would be uh, 32 minus a hundred, now we'll get a negative number, it will be negative 68 I believe. You get the idea. Okay. Let me do one more, one last one. Uh, for example, 10 star would be 32 minus 10 will be 22 and so on and so forth. That's what it is. You have to understand you have to understand that it is a set of instructions. That's what that is. Now what they want you to compare is this quantity versus let's put it here. What is this? And that's where that's where people that's that's where they that's where they get people that's where get some that's where they get some people uh, because some of the people are gonna freeze here like a like a poor deer caught in a headlight because they wouldn't know what to do with it. Well, there's no big deal here. You just repeat the same procedure twice. For example, for example. 10 star, as I, did, as I did just a little while ago, just equals 32 minus 10, which is 22. So now I have this 22, which is this part right here, and then outside I have another one. So I have this outside as well. You see? I should have put all of this in a, in a different, different color. As you can see, 10 star simply means 32 minus 10. 32 minus 10 is 22. Well, now, watch what happens. Now I realize, now I realize that I don't have just n star, but I have n star star. So I'm going to go back and insert the star outside it. So I have to put a star outside this one, and I have to put a star outside this one. And I have to go one more round. Well, let's go and do it. So now I take uh, my 22 star, which is this part right here, and I go 32 minus 22, which equals 10. Well, if it equals 10, 10 was my n. You see? I had plugged in 10 for n. So I, 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 I end up with what I started with. Here our n was 10. What I did here was 
I plugged in n equals to 10. That's where the 10 came from. And that would work with anything. And what you will find is that whatever you started out with is what you're going to end up with. Let's do one more quickly. Let's do it here. This time I'm going to plug in 3 for n. Let's see what happens. 3 star equals 32 minus 3, which is 29. And now, so that was n star. And I have another star outside it. So now I have to figure out the 29 star. Well, let's find out. 29 star is 32 minus 29, which of course is 3, which is what I started out with, which is my n. Hence, we conclude that n star star equals n. The answer is C. I have a habit of putting a little star on top of the answer. I won't do it here. I won't put, I won't put that star next to the answer because a star in this problem has a very particular meaning and so we don't want to confuse the hell out of people no more than is absolutely necessary. And of course I, also, I said that part also in jest obviously. We don't want to confuse people at all obviously. I hope you understood it and that's what it is. Just plug in a number and just uh, repeat the procedure two times. If, the, if there were three stars, let me go back in the camera, see if I have time to do one more example. I'm seven minutes into it. Let's do one more quickly out of, out of curiosity. hell is this? I don't know. Let's find out. But the instructions are very simple. The instruction tells me that whenever I see star on top of number, that's what this instruction says. You have to be able to read it in English language what it says. Don't just sit there and read this as n star equals 32 minus n. That means absolutely nothing. You have to read it in not like a nerd, like a geek, like a freak. You have to learn it, uh, read it in a plain English language. What does it say? It says whenever you see a number with a star on top of it, you are to subtract that number from 32. Voila, that's it. End of the story. That's, those are my instructions. If I see a star on top of a number, I am to subtract that number from 32. End of the story. Here, I'll have to do it three times. So let's do it. So the first, I'm going to do the innermost. 5 star is simply 32 minus 5. As a matter of fact, since we have the flair for the dramatic, I'm going to actually color code these stars. And I'm going to color code the work as well. Let's put a blue star here. See if I can find a red star outside. Red does not work very well. Black star. So let's do the brown one first. The brown one, the innermost, which is 32 minus 5. I took care of just this part right here. That inside part is done. And then there's a star outside that one. And then of course there is a star outside that one. So how much is 32 minus 5? 32 minus 5 is uh, 27. So now the next step would be the blue one I'm doing which is 32 minus 27. And as you can see clearly, 32 minus 27 is 5, which is what we will end up with if we had two stars. Because first we do something and then we undo it. You see? So, so first we subtract 5 from a number, we get that number, and then that answer is that is there, that is there, and then we take 32 and then subtract that from it. We, we're going back and forth. We undo it. Anyway, so this is, this is 5, and now I do the last part. This is just 5. And then, one more time, 32 minus 5. I'll end up at uh, 32 minus 5 with 27 again. We go back and forth, back and forth. You see? And then if I were to go one more time, then 32 minus 27, I'll be back to 5. It does 
alternately. That's all. Maybe I shouldn't have done this last part because uh, I was trying to be a little helpful. It may have confused somebody. This last bottom part that you see there is not part of the problem. It's just an extra work. It's just an extra example. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, face-to-face -face personal private tutoring, or through the tutoring through internet, through the skip and all that, for a web, webcam and all that, or if you wish to buy a solution manuals to this problem, or if you wish to get hold of me for any of these reasons, please go to my website at www.preppreprep.com and send me an email. Alright? Thanks.